tag quest and here you can see we are able to click on button so basically maybe cube size is uh, bigger so you can just decrease means you have to just pull back that cube and everything is working fine so here you can see toggle button is working fine hello everyone welcome back on this channel guys i'm ramkis singh unity game developer youtuber and blogger in this video i'm going to talk about that how we can interact with the normal canvas in unity like mostly we get that how we can interact with the just curve ui on the meta xr but currently we are going to just interact with the normal canvas by using the ray and i will show you in the meta quest 3 so let's start the 2d video and this is for meta xr sdk there is two sdk i have already told you that unity xr and meta xr so both functionality are different so in the future i will do for the unity xr also so let's start video if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel you can just support me or join me on the patreon here we are in the unity what we need we need a interactor like uh, there will be one player there will be a camera that we can interact with the ui so i have created this canvas and we are going to learn that how we can interact with this in meta xr it is a little typical so first of all we have to set up a player just go in the building blocks and we just need a ray and here you can see pointable item so basically this will provide the ray uh, camera rig as well as we get the pointable item uh, and it will add the ray and hope this will work i have not tried it and i have just tried a interaction ray so that is the different thing because before the building blocks that was the idea to do so here is the canvas and here is the canvas so make sure that is in world space and here you can see i have added the scale value very low if you are adding this value so you will getting this kind of uh, canvas i've added the buttons toggle whatever i got so i just added first first we have to add pointable canvas so just add pointable canvas and here we get the pointable canvas and here it is asking for canvas so just add the canvas and optional that is not compulsory to add add two things so before we just add anything so first we have to go on the canvas and just add a cube so that cube will help us to create the collider where click will be start working so uh, if you taking normal collider so that will be not that much easy to create so basically i just take one cube and one cube there is one that is the box collider and here you can click and increase the size of this cube so your collider will be also increased because that is the box collider and a collider on canvas okay so here you can see uh, our canvas is just wrapped off see we have added the collider okay great now you, what you can do is just remove this component we don't want this and you can also remove this cube mass okay so basically we want box collider box collider i have added and this is the best way to add the collider and here we have to add one more script that is the collider surface collider surface collider surface and just pass this box collider and one more thing that we can just rename is that is the collider and we need two things so first thing is collider second thing is just one game object that is the surface so just name the surface and on the surface you have to add one thing and here you can see if we are on so there is nothing thing surface if we are adding that is the plane surface so a plane surface and here you can see you are able to see grid so basically this will help us to just interact on that surface and you can just play around the backward or forward so currently we are using the backward so most of thing i have added on the canvas we have to add one more component is the ray intractable so ray intractable ray intractable just added the ray intractable and here is the pointable element or pointable element is the canvas and on surface what we want on surface we want our collider okay and you go in the optional surface so select surface so basically here we will provide our surface okay so don't confuse in our collider and as well normal surface so that thing we need and another thing we need is the event system so basically normal event system does not work so here is the event system and if it is not so you can just go and take from the ui and event system so basically we have to remove and launch so just remove this one and here we have to add 
pointable canvas canvas module okay great now we can run and see that how it working so if you are in the center eye on the camera rig so here you can see this is the mix so it is not tick on the ui so you will be not able to see ui so first thing you have to on on the center and make sure that canvas is on ui so basically you have to do whatever uh, layer is on ui same you have to do on the camera okay so we have checked that this one is not working so what we have to do is just we need ovr samples so basically whenever we will install anything well so few sample you get by default here you can just install from here but few sample you have to install separately and we need the interaction sdk ovr that is the sample so sample is not available here so you have to go on the asset store and search meta xr interaction sdk ovr sample so just click here here we are getting in section ovr samples so just click install so hope we have installed this sample and here is the example scenes so just import this one and it's very important because there are so many sample very important samples that you can use because uh, in meta xr there are so many complicated stuff so you have to follow the samples and samples are really not that much easy so you have to understand then you have to reuse them we are 62 and it is also very amazing because they have they have given so many stuff so here is the ray examples so here we are in the ray examples and there are so many examples you can explore and here we need one thing that is the ovr camera rig so just copy it and get back here we have to not see because these are the uh, curved cam canvas so i will explain in the next part so we have to just come back here because we just want to implement our work so here we have done the camera rig and make sure that you have deleted main camera and last time i was not deleted so maybe that true that may be the reason that was not working okay thing we need is this just let's suppose you have uh, your controllers so what you need so in ovr controllers there is left controller and in rev left control you need controller interactors so basically uh, this is the control interactor that help us to get the ray so just create one build and let's run it again here we are in the meta quest and here you can see we are able to click on button so basically maybe cube size is uh, bigger so you can just decrease means you have to just pull back that cube and everything is working fine so here you can see toggle button is working fine okay so here we are able to click so that's great and hope you enjoy the video hope you learn something don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye take care see you in next video and in next video we will talk about the curve ui how you can place in meta xr so that's it see you in next video bye bye take care